So for me, network slicing is one of the more fascinating aspects of 5G. Because if you think about it, opening up the network and enabling external control of the network opens up a whole raft of innovation. Once the network is open and you are able to control the network, you're able to put a very innovative and intelligent software layer above the network. And that software layer is going to enable service providers to change the way they interact with their customers, for example, enterprise customers. It will enable service providers to interact with each other in a different way to what they do today. It'll enable service providers to interact with the cloud service providers and with over-the-top vendors like application and content vendors in a new innovative way. I expect to see not only new ways of operating the network and new services launched out to market, but new business models coming into the market as a result of network slicing. We see network slicing really being adopted in three phases. Phase one is really around the operational aspects of the network, how you can operate many networks on top of the one network, and really think about it as networks on top of networks. Um, some good examples are today you see service providers maintaining legacy 3G infrastructure because they have 3G MVNOs. So imagine if you could take that MVNO offering and put it onto a 5G network and run it as a slice over the network. You would no longer need to operate two separate networks. Likewise, we see a lot of initiatives around the world to close down um, legacy uh, emergency services or public safety networks. And if you can put those on top of the one network, you start to get a lot of operational efficiency around capex and opex of the network, but at the same time you can start to deliver networks on top of networks. The second phase of network slicing is where we see service providers starting to launch new types of service offerings to the market. And this is really key because service providers are looking at the massive investment that they're going to make in 5G and trying to figure out how they're going to monetize that investment. And so if you think about it, 5G delivers some unique capabilities that service providers can start to monetize. For example, it delivers the capability to have billions of end devices on the network. So how do you create a slice to uh, put those billions of devices onto the network and then to monetize a very high volume of devices that are actually just inserting a very low volume of traffic onto the network? Latency is another key aspect that comes in as a part of 5G and service providers are looking at how they're going to be able to monetize latency. And building a slice for latency not only requires designing it right the first time and building it the first time, but keeping that slice, uh, delivering those latency requirements day in, day out, 24 by 7, 365 days a year. Now why is that such a big, um, big challenge? Because the network becomes dynamically changing. And in a dynamically changing, dynamically moving network, how do you make sure that every time the network changes, the latency requirements of that slice continue to be delivered? Phase three of network slicing is when the service providers start to get services out to market that are specific to a customer. And especially around enterprise, we'll start to see service providers delivering specific slices to support either an individual enterprise or slices to support a type of enterprise. And they're looking at being able to build slices that deliver that specific quality of service out to enterprises in those industries we may start to see our service provider customers actually enabling the enterprise to take control over their own slice. It means that in addition to the enterprise being able to control the application and content that goes over the slice, the enterprise will also be able to control the network resources and the capacity and the QoS of the slice. Now obviously a service provider is going to need to make sure the right uh, network integrity is maintained, the right network availability and the right security constraints are in place and it would be a competitive differentiator for the service providers to be able to do that for an enterprise.